Hey guys, and welcome back to Auction Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire, where we have literally just got our hands on a natural gas power over here. The wonderful thing about the natural gas power is it is actually, if I can hit the right button, providing us with a steady source of water, which is just absolutely amazing. Another thing that we've managed to do is get ourselves a whole bunch of these guys, if I can find them in here. We've got some lava eggs. Now, what are the lava eggs? They are, of course, slicks. Those of you that have been with us for a little while might remember that we are trying to use slicks to work with the coal generator. The coal generator produces a lot of CO2 and the slicks like to eat the CO2 and turn it into the crude oil that we have down here. Unfortunately, the temperature in this area is just, there we go, is just not bearable for a slick. It's 23, we need to have it up to about 50, but thankfully over this way we've got a nice little area over here that is actually a kind of like the right temperature. So we might even have a little bit of a further look around and see if we can find something a little little hotter like down here we've also got some more areas so maybe we want to put the slicks down here and have the uh, the coal generator producing underneath i think that might be an idea we can put a quick fast system of travel down there okay that's what i'm going to work on first time let's get rolling Okay, so we've put down a whole bunch of build orders here. My main concern is to try and get this bottom layer done because we have the lava, as I say, up here at the moment. And as you can see, they are halfway through their incubation system at the moment. Incubation cycle, sorry. So I would like to move them down here as soon as possible. So I'm going to set a couple of uh, priority nights. I've got a feeling Miss Line is going to come along and start doing the dig down here. Not just because we need some high level digging skills to get through some of these materials, but also she just likes to dig. One of the problems that we ran into last time was that we managed to dump a whole bunch of salt water on top of our natural gas generator area over here. This unfortunately led a whole bunch of salt water getting into the pipes. And we ended up pumping quite a few of it up through this chilling area hill and unfortunately got it into our main water supply. Now, it's not too big of an issue because we've been working on a little bit of a dumping site down here. And in fact, I'm going to go across, I'm going to go liquid, I'm going to go salt water. I want it to be the highest priority. And yes, I would like to auto bottle. Thank you. Cycle 92, not everybody's made it to bed. Mad Frank is still up having a midnight feast. I'm surprised by this, but you know, everybody's gonna live the life that they want to live, and it turns out Mad Frank's choice is to stay up late and eat. Given the fact that I started this episode talking about how we've sorted out power, you might be wondering, Twitchy, why are you building the coal, the coal power plant down here? Well, that's because that the natural gener the natural gas generators, well, the geyser in particular, are not the most constant source of power, or rather, not the con most constant source of natural gas. We have a, a cycle that we have to worry about. You can see here we've got eruption periods, but for starters, they are quite spread out, but the active period tells us when it's going to go dormant next. Now, unfortunately, every time we've been trying to analyse uh, our man, forest has come through and got himself burnt, quite badly scolded. So we've told him not to do that until we've managed to get ourselves a whole bunch of atmospheric suits done. Now we've got one of them up and running so I feel like we might be able to put one suit here, maybe? I mean that would literally be just a short little hack but at least we would be able to get that finished. Yeah, okay, well I think we're gonna do it. Do we have the power systems out here? Yeah, okay. So, to make one of these, what we need is a station and down here, ah, oh, I am missing some refined metals. It's okay. we got the most aggressive metal maker in the world over here. Okay, a little bit of research has come in and I've been after this gas element sensor because down here we have a little bit of a safety uh, device set up so that we can start getting all the uh, natural gas that we got caught in here out of here. So I'm having a quick look at the materials overlay and I'm noticing that everything is full of carbon dioxide. So we're going to need a two uh, separate uh, gas sensors to see if we can deal. One needs to be carbon dioxide, which I really don't want to get rid of. And the other needs to be natural gas. I think do you think it's time for a slight redesign? We put this up here to get rid of the natural. I think I think that might actually be the case. Let's do that right now. A cycle and a half later, we've got a fair amount of what's going to happen here done. So I need to start thinking about how we're going to be moving some of the eggs around. Is it in the critter eggs? We need to try and move these lava eggs down here before they go ahead and hatch. So we'll just set that up there and maybe even come across here and set up the sweep order for them all. Okay, that's nice. I'm also going to have a look at this blueprint. Let's see what we've got. Some blossom seeds, which I don't think we've actually had access to. Uh, and no, no doctor. So, <clears throat> oh, that's a high level doctor. All right, so we're going to go with Dr. Captain Subs over here, and welcome to the facility. Unfortunately, you're not going to have anywhere to eat or anywhere to sleep, but I'm sure you're a rough, tough type of chap, so we can figure that out. In fact, well, we're going to eventually end up building you a bedroom up here. Let's start with that, shall we? Ooh, setting up a lot of jobs. I remember where the beds are, honestly. 
Oh, there they are. Caught right at the time. <laughs> I couldn't even see it. Uh, setting up a lot of, lot of jobs at the beginning of this game. Uh, we'll, uh, beginning of this episode. We'll see how many of them we actually get worked through before things start falling apart around us. Oh, new achievement? What, what, what have we got? What have we got? Is it one that we already did? They got better. Cure a sick duplicate of disease. Awesome. No idea when we did that. <laughs> Beautiful new day. I'm going to prioritize the bedroom up here. Well, I'm sure we can fit another one of these tables in here. How about if we rip them all down and put them with only one space in between? That might actually work out a lot better. Okay, I've just noticed that Dr. Captain Subs over there is doing some cooking. I suppose that's okay, but I would actually like him to be mostly concentrating on the doctoring. Whilst he's not doing that, though, what else? Should, well, we're just going to leave him blank. The only thing we don't want him doing is researching. I mean, he could go digging, but that seems a little uncouth for him. Uh, same with the building. Maybe he'll just go around doing some supplying and storing as is necessary. Can he cook? Not, not really. Okay, the next problem we have is these dregs only actually grow their fur in hydrogen up here. So I'm wondering whether we can capture a little bit of an atmosphere just from this. I mean, there are other bits of hydrogen to be had. And obviously, if we're going to split water, we could also get some hydrogen that way. Uh, but we, we don't have the most confidence in our water supply right now. In fact, we need to turn this back on because it's not really doing what it needs to do. Okay, the water starts pumping again. I'm a little bit worried that we're going to cause some problems with this because we're not quite... It needs to be immersed in water, not just having a little bit of water down below. So we, we do really need to try and figure out a way of dealing with that at some point. But we just, we need to clear that pipe out, really. Really need to clear that pipe out. Okay, super worried about that getting too hot. So let's try and disable that building again. A little bit of uh, alert abuse just to bring someone straight to it. Luna coming to do the job. Good work. Yeah, you can see the water is already starting to steam away from it, so we need to try and get in there before it becomes too hot. You see that? It's, it's taking damage. Quick, Luna, quick. The problem is everything's made out of aluminium, so it doesn't matter. Well, we're, we're, we're just not going to get it hot enough. Where Where is the overheat temperature on here? It's somewhere. Okay, 125. That's the same temperature for the vast majority of items until you get up to, like, gold and steel and stuff like that. So uh, mm, I have to try and figure out something else how to deal, how to deal with it. One of the things I have been noticing is we started picking up a whole bunch of polluted oxygen in the base. Thankfully, it's mostly collecting up in the high areas, though, so I feel like we can fix it with a few of these deodorizers, deodorizers that just kind of lying around. So let's put one of those here uh, and maybe even put another one to let the air flow. I'm not sure about that, but we're going to get the oxygen. We're going to put the deodorizer and hopefully it will just all slowly scrub and clean. Okay, let's for a short time just do that. Let, let, let's try and get some of this water flowing like I, like I really need it to. Hmm, the lava eggs still aren't in there. Let's have a look and see what happens. I, it, I think it's actually this one we need to do. We've discovered that before, right? If we put this one on the high priority, suddenly we get a load of people doing the errands. Nice. Okay, the ciphers dropped off one egg. Where are the other eggs? We should have had much more than just one egg. How dare they, sir? Oh, it says six, damn it. Wow. I mean, I know that they're two two kilos per egg, so we, we should be all right. Six should be fine. Look, they're, they're even there, three of them. As you can see, their vitality, uh, viability, sorry, is going down the entire time they're in here. But I would like to get this floor finished before we get anywhere. In fact, let's just turn everything other than that floor down. One of the things that we found out last time is the Drecos can only feed from live millwood plants, so it's kind of important to get these guys up and running here. I've already got to go through and change all all my priorities back down to a five at some point because they've all just steadily crept up and now I've got everything on nine. It's just a little bit too much. Hmm, you know it's bad when they're washing their hands on the way into the toilets. What have you guys been handling? Mmm, here we go. This is why we have the coal power plant up and running. As you can see, the, oh, it's, it's actually gone dark, dormant. It's actually gone dormant. Well, now's the time to analyze them. All right, they've ignored this for long enough. We're going to do desperate measures. You guys, <laughs> I, I, I don't know whether this is a good idea or not. Uh, we're going to take our screenshot mode. We're going to go priority. We're going to go five. Everything's a priority five. Okay, now we come back down here and we put this in a P9 and we wait to see what breaks because... You know, dropping the priorities like that. It's going to have broken something. Like the life support. Let's put life support up on a six, shall we? Probably a good idea. And maybe... No, that that's probably it. Just just that life support system for the moment. If you want to take part in some group entertainment, now would be the perfect time to go down into the comments down below and, and say how you think this base is going to break. Now that we've turned everything onto a priority five, I, 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 we've already gone and done the... We've already gone and decided that the gas needs to be tweaked up. But, like, do, do we need to do the, the, the farm here? 
Is that, is that a thing that's going to die? I don't know. Research is not, not working at the moment, and we've only got one manual wheel that actually counts, even though this one here does do the business, but there's no gas there, so what are we going to do about it? Oh, maybe we could just pump this up to a nine as well. Forrest, can you get over here and do this job, please? He should be... Oh, where's he gone? No, this one here. Forrest, where are you, buddy? He's digging, but it's all right. He's running. Okay, small problems with it being too hot over here. Of course it is, I knew that. But maybe we can do something with the utilities. Uh, how about the icy fan? Just pop that there and hopefully that will do a little bit of work for getting these millwood growing at least up to some sort of growth, right? I mean, it's only five temperatures, uh, five degrees over, five temperatures over, lol. Cycle 97 and very much about trying to get the coal generator up and running. You can see over here, as I said earlier, we have run out of natural gas and I don't think we're gonna be able to get any more for, I don't know, I'm gonna say about 50 cycles or so that's how long these things normally take so trying to get this sorted is an absolute top priority you can see because of that i've come through and put some nines back down i don't know what's wrong with me i've got a problem guys can you help but if we just ignore that and try and like get all calm and collective it does actually mean that we're going to get the coal generator up and running pretty quickly so maybe maybe that would be great i also want to get this going so that we can get this spilling out because we don't want them here despite the fact oh actually let's let's throw them down because of course we don't want their viability to drop too low every second they're in there in the uh, storage compactor their viability drops down a little bit more but uh right now that's that's not the case this definitely still a thing that needs to be worked on and hopefully it's pretty high on the priorities as you can see number two right there beautiful Ah, so we spent a whole day trying to build a load of this. You can see we've got the floor done here, and we got some wire done, and we got the floor tiles underneath the coal generator done. But that's the whole of the cycle. That That's it. That's what we got done. This, we ain't going to get power back in this sort of time. As you can see, during the day, we have produced a zero oxygen. Zero oxygen. Let's see what it's got up there. It says that we made 95 kilograms. I... I, I disagree. I disagree. If we did, it is via the method of polluted oxygen, which is not a method that I like to uh, to make my oxygen by. Cycle 98 Forest is more than halfway through the uh, gas geyser analyst over here. An analysis. Wow, well, turns out I can't say that word today. But over here, people still are doing the work, but man, it's taking forever. Oh, oh, we're gonna get some coal going on there are we dr captain subs i mean despite the double uh, honorific there don't seem to be too smart because the wire's not hooked up to anything thanks to sub and lunar cop we can get mad frank and misaligned basically just going down and fixing all of these i'm not sure how many are in need of delivery still but it turns out the vast majority have been done and these guys can just get their build on uh was it is it that far is that as far as we can get our build on as valiantly as they are doing, I don't think we're going to get this hooked up by the end of tomorrow. Misaligned? Yeah, no, by the end of today is what I was trying to say there. But Misaligned came along to panic me unnecessarily. Uh, so I assume... Oh, printing pod is available. Yeah, I'll have that barbecue. Got enough, We've already got a doctor digging building suit wearing. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, see, th thimble reed seeds. Yeah, I'll take that as well, actually. Thanks. Cool. So the thimble reeds were the things that we were missing, so that made us make the Drek farm up here. But if we could just make a thimble reed farm as well. I mean, I'm going to carry on with the Drek farm, don't get me wrong, because I've not done enough uh, critter farming in my games ever. But uh, it's nice to have a fallback plan, right? No, uh, uh, and, and just as I was taking a break to think about what I was going to say, end of day happens, they didn't finish the build. Ah. I wonder why this isn't going up and out of there. Should do, surely. Surely. Made a, made, made a mess, I beg you what, why, hey, what's going on here? Oh, we're out of water because this isn't working, because this isn't working. All right, okay, so we, we need this done, guys. We need this done. Hopefully no one else is going to make a mess, but you never know. You never know. It was literally just Luna, and thankfully she did it down the bottom of a hole here so we could just mop this up. Okay, is Miss Lion going to come along and save the day? I think she might do here. If we can just get this one last piece of wire put into place. Boom, boom. Love it. We should now be getting a zero power through there because everything's going to start trying to use the power. But as you can see, we've got the rusty oxidizer firing up. We've got the gas pump over here. But more importantly, is this working? Not quite yet. Okay, it's on and off. That's good. I'm down with that. Stop. Still not sure why this water isn't draining out of here, but it looks like Forrest might be very close to getting to the end of the analysis over here. I'm not sure exactly how long it's going to take, or even if he needs to run away in the meantime, but no, we've got the analysis complete. Uh, next activity in 20 cycles. 20 cycles! Whoa! 
So as this is not going to be going for 20 cycles, I'm going to let this pump out to a vacuum because that's what it wants to do. But I'm also going to ask them to turn this pump off so we're not trying to cool down the area unnecessarily. Over here, this says that it's taken damage and I'm not sure how exactly that has happened. Insufficient resource combustible gas. I mean, I kind of get that, but would that lead to damage? Would it? I don't think so. Also got this little area working nicely now. I think the lack of power is influencing here, but you can see that it is detecting the natural gas uh, and doing a good job at getting it out of there. The carbon dioxide overwhelming it a little bit, but that is fine because the carbon dioxide should hopefully eventually be turned into oxygen by the oxy ferns here, at which point this then continues its lovely little cleaning process. Oh, beautiful side effect. We get some power from the, from the natural gas, don't we? Oh, nice. Carbon dioxide being the heavier gas, I'm surprised how much chlorine's kicking around up here. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to expand my gas containment system over here. That's nice and easy to do. We can just like take out this tile and go down here. I have put the priority up on this tile because I don't want it spewing gas into this area. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do with this area because obviously now we wanna like maybe deconstruct this. We probably wanna deconstruct all of this to be fair. Maybe we'll leave this as a ranch. We'll leave this here for an animal of some description, but all this underneath is also wrong. I say wrong, right, it's in the wrong place now because of course it's there to collect uh, oil from the slicks and the slicks are now going to be living down here. Impressed with the team swinging into action here attacking the job from both angles. Missile line's like nope nope no, I can't handle it the pressure is too much. Can't breathe in there and I like to breathe. Well, this is going to be interesting to see whether it produces enough uh, power overnight to be able to keep the power rolling for all the various items we have. Obviously, we've got some batteries over here, but they are literally just about to be drained dry. And when that happens, we're going to have rolling brownouts across the entire base. Oh, it goes up, it goes down. What's going on? I don't know. Maybe it's the uh, the water pumping from over this side. That would be a very interesting thing if that's what's causing that. I also would like to maybe pull that up here. Oh, and not over. Only have we hit cycle 100 and got ourselves an auspicious triple digits. We've uh, we got a little achievement here for that. Bam! Turn of the century. Survive a cycle 100 of at least one living duplicate. We got six, so that, that's pretty good. Doing oh well. I uh, should probably have a look at some of these others. Give me some sort of idea where I'm supposed to be going, but ah, that's not how I play games. I just like muck, muck my way through until we find ourselves in some sort of endgame scenario. What's going on over here? Atmosphere growth beca uh, because of... Uh, growth halted because of atmosphere is what I'm trying to say. It's because there's some chlorine down here. Let's press that F4 button again. Yeah, look at that. That's not great. I'm not sure how we can deal with it, though. So the way to deal with it is to seal this off so all the gases can drift down this way a little bit more. Okay, the temperature in here has definitely dropped a little bit. It's below the 40 degrees that is comfortable. Let's go, oh, no database entry available. Let's go um, look in the right place. So 35 to 60 is the livable range. We are actually just a little bit below that as well. So I'm gonna go to utilities here. I'm gonna grab myself a space heater. I'm gonna pop it down there. And of course we need to get the power involved. Oh man, they're, they're like right straight in here to do this. That That's good, I'm about that. If we could get that turning, that would mean that we're just turning some of our power straight into heat but that's all right i mean honestly i thought that's what was going to be happening up here we got like 40 degrees but no not down here which leads me to wonder whether heat actually does indeed rise in this game to find out we're going to get this insulative layer going I'm also going to turn this pump on because it's in amongst all the chlorine and i want to get that chlorine out of here and slowly but surely cleaning up the air outside this door because oh this air it's dirty how? How has the natural gas got here? Look, there it is. How? Well, how did it even move its way around here? I have no idea. Obviously, it's kind of drifted in through this way somehow, but oh, just as Mad Frank was just about to build it, he's like, nah, nah, oxygen, mate. Well, that's the day end of uh, cycle 100. Didn't quite get all the jobs done that I was hoping for, but we got, we got quite a few of them done. The fact that we've still got power ticking over might have been a little bit less than what we need, but we do still have power ticking over. I've noticed that all these load descriptions are broken. Can I highlight it to get a... No. Okay, how about if we go to the energy? Okay, power stored, power produced, up to 420... Uh, 4,000, sorry, 200 watts there. Nice. Still very confused as to why this isn't working. I suspect it's got something to do with the aqua tuner and the fact that it doesn't know where to send the water, but I might be wrong there. I, I literally don't know. I don't know what it is, and I'll do it on camera this time, but I keep setting this to Mirthleaf going plant, and then it just doesn't happen. And by the time I look the next night, this doesn't even have its job there anymore. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what's going on. If anybody does know, let me know. Oh, yeah, the space heater got done. Let's start warming this place up, eh? 
Oh, oh, really? We've just been told there's a huge food shortage. That's um, that's unusual. Let's go and have a look at our meal wood and see what's going on. I mean, they're not quite there, but they're all about 40%. This one's about ready to go. There's a lack of food on the floor, though, so maybe... <gasps> maybe Dr. Captain Subs pushed us over the food tolerance levels. Not sure why the scientists decide he's going to be the one to come along and finish the reservoir, but that, that's where we're at, so we'll let him be. I'm not even sure if he'll be able to finish it. There's such a tiny little bit on that build order left, but he might have run out of air before he gets there. No, no, there we go. Okay, cool. And now hopefully, I'm not sure if this is exactly how it works, but hopefully, yeah, now they just all drain through. Now, do they balance or will this just all empty out into that? I'm not sure. I will let you know when I know. Oh, <laughs> so when I press this, the, uh, the color... Great, makes it look like that this hasn't got this top bar here, but uh, it totally has. Okay, worried about the food? I'm doing that. <laughs> let's just let's just get a whole new farm down. That's probably the easiest way of uh, doing it. The millwood shouldn't we shouldn't need that many we really shouldn't maybe the water is the issue salt water being pumped of course by dr captain subs here taking it all out of our main water supply and putting it down in this little storage area we've also got this uh, dirty water storage area which has been turning over quite nicely but there's no power to turn it back is that because we're totally disconnected that is because we're totally disconnected i can fix this though i can fix this I'm not sure why they're prioritizing this power over this gas setup that I asked them to do earlier. Let's uh, let's have a look, shall we? Uh, it's because these are on sixes. I want to put these on a seven because I don't know about you. I want to know what happens when we get hydrogen down here. Okay, now that everything is super comfortable for these guys down here, when they finally get round to cracking, I would like them to be staring at two coal generators might work out you never know all right the small priority change seems to have changed a lot there but let's press h let's hope they're giving us some food because that is the thing that we are missing of fungal spores only one not that great do we have a chef here no i'll take the fungal spores but there's not for it mm, yeah <laughs> Oh, look. Oh, wow. Oh, that, that was really quick. I don't know who got on with that, but good work, whoever that was. Millwood Seed, plant that, please. And I'm going to copy those settings all the way across. Look, 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 look. I told you something weird is going on. Oh, that, is it back? No, it's not back. Why not? What's, what's wrong with it? Why doesn't it want to do the thing? I don't know. Okay, quick update. It drains to the furthest gas reservoir on the network. Okay, that that's interesting to know. Okay, hoping that we get full recycling of the items out of this. I'm going to deconstruct this uh, incubator and build another one down here. Is it in the food, maybe? It would be a weird place to put it, but that's where it is. In the food. Well, look at Miss Alina Mad Frank sleeping in. All right, Mad Frank's up. Miss Alina's like, no, no, you make me work all the time. And I'm just going to stay here. I am going to have a good old kip and a look, even into the work schedule. Oh, I suppose the alarm's gone off. I should get up. That, that is the type of attitude I like to see in my, uh, in my colonies being like, yeah, authority? What's that? Okay, we broke apart the incubator and I got a little noise telling me that maybe I want to have a look down here in the food and get the other incubator set up over here because, man, that would be nice, right? Okay, Mad Frank down trying to help us out with building this incubator here, but I think, once again, he might not actually have enough breath to make it through. I'm not sure at what point they decide they need to leave. It's about a third down of oxygen. I mean, to be fair, when, I, when I'm a third down in the oxygen in my body, I get a little panicky too. More claims of food shortage? Yeah, that looks like a pretty serious shortage of food, actually. 105, uh, sorry, 1,500 calories available, but only 6,000 needed. <laughs> okay, incubator made and the pipe layers are put in place. The power layers, sorry. I'm going to put a, uh, a lava egg there. I don't think we want continuous, but we do want to get at least one of them in there, if possible. Let's see who's going to come along and do this. I should imagine that this is a decipher job, right? Because this, he's part of the, the whole look after the animals crew. So maybe... Maybe that will be the case. Maybe not. We'll have to wait and find out. A uh, squeaky puff that I didn't know was in a uh, in a crit critter area here. A stables, sorry. Saying that he is hungry. I don't even know what they eat. Uh, by what diet? Chlorine, excretion, bleach stone. That doesn't really help me though. So should we just be moving him in there? Why are you even there? I'm just gonna let him die. I think that's probably the case. Okay, and here we go. Decipher coming along with the lava egg. And yeah, we, we are like nearly there. And I've just noticed this little dial down here. I bet that almost exactly correlates. Oh, yeah. Are we actually moving the hydrogen? We are actually moving the hydrogen. Now, this unfortunately is going to be a bit more long term than just going, oh, look, now, now it looks like he's doing all right. This guy is also starving. Why? Uh, pinch of pepper, balm, lily, or millwood. 
Uh, luckily, there's plenty of other Drekos around, so I'm not sure that I'm that bothered by these two dying. I just want to find out what the situation is. Glum, the metabolism is down. Yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff that we just need to, to get on out. To, to understand. There's a whole bunch of stuff we need to understand. Read five, uh, eight cycles. Eight cycles. Okay, I've set up two jobs over here. I'm trying to rip down the old pipes that we put in to see whether they would, like, send off a little side shoot here. I'm putting in these new pipes down here. Hopefully, that will mean more water, maybe? Hopefully, fingers crossed. Oh, Dr. Captain Sub's having a terrible evening here with the uh, shine bug coming along and keeping him awake. Is it F4? It's not. What's the, uh, what's the light overlay? F5, yeah. Look at that. Not... Not ideal, if I'm to be honest with you. Not ideal at all. Okay, time to disable this pump because all the hydrogen's gone. That's, that's pretty much as simple as that. All right, finally decipher getting to the lava egg here. I mean, we're at 92% incubation already, but maybe that can be done better. Up to 20% per, per cycle. That means definitely by the end of this cycle, or at least in a cycle's time. Food shortage? Nah, we're doing all right. Just in time for the new lava to come along. We got ourselves a second coal generator. Beautiful, beautiful. Where are you taking that polluted dirt, Luna? I'm hoping it's off to the compost pile. But, you know, all sorts of things could happen. Yeah, okay, all right. Just got to wash your hands on the way past. I suppose that's fine as you are carrying dirty, dirty polluted dirt. But uh, let's, is this going to go in nicely? Yeah, and Luna's still covered in polluted dirt. Oh, there he is. Let's remove him. All right, welcome to the world, little lava. Wow, okay, cool. So he's going to breathe in. He's going to almost immediately do his first little poop, I think. Was that was that it? Didn't look like it happened. But that's now uh, a nice little thing on the go. He's got the carbon dioxide, and he's going to output some crude oil. Beautiful. Oh, look, did it go there? There it goes. Ah, oh, nice. I've been sat here wondering why these pipe uh, jobs haven't been done yet, despite the bottom ones down here being done, but that's because they're all unreachable. That's the wrong heavy what wire. There we go. Unreachable dig. And that's because of what's been going on here. Terrible. Ah, oh, downtime. Are you kidding? But yeah, as I was saying, they can't get over this way because this ladder has not been built. And also, at some point, Mad Frank decided that he wanted to just take down this edge tile here, which I, I suppose is the job, but I wish there's some way of telling them which order to take the tiles out. That would be much more helpful. Okay, hopefully, because I've totally abused the priority system here, we should see a lot of activity around this area. And maybe they'll come along and do these priorities here, though we are once again in danger of having P9s everywhere. I am generally all right with putting the P9s on the build orders, because once they're built, they're built. If we go back to there, you can see that the ladders do not carry on holding the nine priority but i'm not sure about the thermal aqua tuna maybe we want to bring that up and down but i'm kind of all right with it being a really high priority because you know it's quite an important piece of kit okay how about now does the water flow now yeah the water flows now all right beautiful beautiful so i'm not sure why i can only think that this blob of water here is already scheduled to go up and it just didn't have a way of working around that but with the Slicksters flying around and all the power somewhat being taken care of, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. We had great fun today trying to go around and deal with all the different um, creatures and critters, making our whole uh, loops closed when it comes to the carbon dioxide. Anyway, we sorted out the natural gas in the bottom of our base and slowly but surely realizing that we have a little bit of a food problem. We'll try and fix all those things next time, but I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.